All right, so in order to download the Pixie Set Lightroom plugin, um, you want to go to, I just researched Pixie Set Lightroom plugin into Google, and you can click this first li link right here, and then download, and then when you when it's done downloading, you open it, and it should look something like this over here. This is what it is. Um, and then you open up Lightroom, and you go to the plugin manager. So once you're in Lightroom, file, plugin manager and the screen pops up and you want to click add and then you find the pixie set plugin click it add plugin i already have it installed and so then there's there should be a couple prompts but or it might just pop right up um, and then you log in there's the code or the on the accounts um, file you'll have the login and password there it's the same one that you use for logging in um, online and then save and there is a possibility that you need to change a couple things about, about it. Um, you want to be at 300 pixels per inch PPI, and you want it to be at 80, um, it's like there's a scale, but like zero to a hundred and you want it to be at 80. Um, and that's about it. So if you have any questions regarding that, then I'll do another video. Then it should um, pop up right here. And once you're logged into this, you for every new catalog that you open, you will have to log into the Pixie Set account um, on, in Lightroom. Um, but here, just don't delete anything. Don't change anything about these yet. Um, you're gonna right click, um, create collection when you're doing a new wedding. Um, but if they've already had an engagement shoot, they should have um, a file here already. So let's say, you know, Aaron and Jamie, we do their wedding, they already have their engagement shoot. So you open this and you can right click and um, create set. And so you would create set like if they're doing a wedding, if this is their wedding sneak. And then create. And so then you have the different files, that's when you drag and drop. And then as soon as you drag and drop everything, you can rename the files by going like clicking on the file, library, rename photo, and then you would do like sneak or ceremony, pre-ceremony, whatever it is. Um, and you want to also rename it in consecutive order. So uh, the custom name sequence, that's what it's called. So that way it goes like sneak one, sneak two, sneak three. Um, and then you just right click and then publish now and then it'll uh, update Pixie Set. Pretty awesome.